Today we're going to do an advertising for Volvo truck here at the harbor in Malmö, Sweden. We wanted to shoot our new power edition Volvo FH truck. We asked around who was the best at the moment and uh, well, Tim was the only one who was mentioned actually. If you can take the truck over here and like... The main concern is to find the right angle of the truck. Is it possible Henrik, like, to turn the back? When that is done, there will be no motion at the camera. That is a key element as well. No motion at the camera. So I will do all the features from the computer with uh, Capture One. And stop. When I showed the agency the location image, there was water all over the asphalt. So they approved that kind of image with lots of water, so it's lots of shine on the asphalt. The final image of the truck will be made of several exposures. I would guess around maybe 30 or 40 different images. So we start from the back and then we go along the side and then we end in the front and then I have to put light underneath the wheels as well. So we're gonna be here definitely five or six hours. Just need to make sure that the channels are the same and the camera I set the pro photo to channel one. So I just need to make sure that it's on channel one here as well. And it is. Do you want to, to roll the lighter so I roll it for you? Oh, let's see how we work it around. Yeah. Let's start, just start here to get a feeling of, of, of the light and, uh, and the reflection of the uh, chrome and stuff. We just noticed that we need more power in the lamp. So uh, with the Pro Photo Studio plug-in to capture one, it's pretty easy just to turn off the light directly in the software. Five years ago, we would have chosen to use maybe two or three assistants just to control the light, but today we can do this on our own with the connection between Pro Photo and Capture One. Look at that reflection. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir! I will use uh, the Pro Photo Air System to uh, trigger the camera from the lightning position. I'm uh, actually painting the light uh, on specific details on the truck, for instance, the paint job or specific details on the chrome, the wheels or, or the front of the truck. We're using the Pro Photo Generator because we need a lot of power in the modeling light and that's the only way to get that kind of power. We mounted a beauty dish on the lamp to get control light but also get hot light to make textures in, in the truck. And I can control the, the contrast by moving the beauty dish closer or away from the truck. We have chosen Pro Photo and Capture One and Phase One because it's giving us a perfect workflow and it's time saving, time saving, time saving. Now we have 27 layers. Each layer has different lightning position of the truck and all those layers are going to make one great image. Mm -hmm.